Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Lego Man. I got a, uh, a Lego review for you today. I'm going to do the Back to the Future set. But first off, I want to show you this little video kind of uh, telling you why I like Back to the Future and uh, the set so much. I guess it started off whenever I was a little kid. My parents would uh, take me to the movie rental store. A lot of you guys uh, probably uh, don't even go to those anymore now that we have uh, uh, streaming online and... Uh, Red places like Redbox where you just get movies. But anyways, we go to that movie rental store and then uh, uh, I don't know if it was because uh, VCR players are so expensive but or maybe my family was poor, but I remember we would rent a VCR uh, and it would come in a big old piece of uh, luggage. You'd have to take that home, hook it up to your back of your TV, and then you'd uh, pop in your VCR tapes. Now, if you've uh, never watched a movie on a VCR tape, let me tell you, you're not missing anything. The quality is not good, but uh, we'd rent our VCR tapes, and I remember as a little kid, I'd always uh, get basically the same movies. I'd either get uh, The Goonies, or I'd get Back to the Future. So I grew up watching this movie a lot, and uh, uh, really appreciate it. So when I saw Lego was coming out with this set, I was very happy, and I figured I'd get it, and... Uh, uh, display it in my uh, cabinet and uh, show it to you guys. Thanks. Alright guys, I finally got my hands on the Back to the Future set. Uh, hopefully you liked the uh, little video I just made. Uh, uh, kind of telling why I like Lego uh, Back to the Future. Uh, actually why I like Back to the Future the movie. Uh, but uh, of course uh, I want to get into the review. First off I want to kind of show you the box. Uh, I'm sure everybody's seen it but it's I've never even had an architectural set, but I guess the box is kind of like that. A lot more sturdier. Kind of shows you the three different uh, styles of the DeLorean and the three different movies. Shows you there the printed bricks that you get. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get inside. So I can get nice uh, solid instruction book. That's really nice. You get a brick separator, it looks like. Here's about five bags and some longer uh, plate pieces. Well, let's go ahead and build this up and then I'll review it. Alright, and just for the uh, lack of time, I'm just going to do a quick build, so I'll see you on the other side. Alright, I got it built. Uh, pretty nice build. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, different techniques they use to put it together. I don't technically know the name of a lot of the techniques, but the, it really is a nice build when it comes together. I really like how they uh, did the uh, exhaust uh, ports here. Really came out really nice. I've obviously already got it in uh, version two or the end of version one, where it's in the hover mode. And it's already got the Doctor or Mister Fusion or whatever that's called on there. I basically, put leftovers in there and trash whatever, and it makes energy. But uh, it comes with these uh, some uh, clear pieces, so you can put underneath this. So it looks like it's already hovering. I really like the way they did the door, so that would come up and down. Look at that, it just came apart right there. It's, I mean, it, it, uh, it's a nice way of doing it, but it's it, like you just saw right there. It is kind of fragile. You have to be careful with it because it's really only, you know, one stud holding it right there, and uh, really just uh, one clip piece right there, and then it would just fall off. If you can kind of see in there, you see the uh, uh, printed brick there. Overall, I'm really happy with it. You know, I, is it as good as the original Kuso set? Of course not. You know, when I first saw the pictures of the Kuso, uh, the one that the gentleman made and put up there on Kuso, I was really impressed. He did a really nice job. Even the minifigs, uh, you know, and everything. But, you know, Lego's got to make money, and 
they probably wanted to make this so that it'd be as easy as possible to to make so they did what they did and it's not bad and uh, I'll let you look at the dock first here get the zoom in on him the dock brown We've got the printed back it does have a two-sided head it's got the uh, scared look and the happy look I like that the hairpiece covers over the uh, the second face pretty good so you can't really see it I like this uh, biohazard uh, printing there because he's obviously uh, was dealing with some uh, nuclear material that's what he first powered the uh, DeLorean with the time machine and here's Michael J. Fox's character got his uh, famous vest on they thought he was a lifeguard because he thought it was like a, a life vest and he too has a back printing on the face got the scared look or nothing's going good look I really like that comes with uh, the one skateboard which is purple I don't I can't remember I was gonna watch I don't think the skateboard he had in the first movie was purple but I don't know you know I was thinking about I think the reason why they weren't able to uh, get the hoverboard is because uh, Mattel has the rights to the hoverboard because you, know, you back to the future fans probably remember about a year and a half ago Mattel actually made a uh, a one to one scale version of that that they were selling selling for like 200 bucks 150 bucks or something but uh, so I'd say Mattel and Lego probably don't get along real good to do partners on none of that stuff <laughs> so that's probably why they weren't able to even just print the pink board at all because if you remember in the movie it's it says Mattel all over it sorry about that and if you see here I've already taken these extra I had some uh, different wheels actually off of this uh, spider-man set y'all probably seen that before it kinda does the same thing with the wheels where they uh, bend down so they can be in flying mode I took my tires off of it put them on the spare tires for here because this is for the version 3 Back to the Future 3 when they're in the Wild West. It had these red wheels on there. And then also, I'll show you how. I'll go ahead and convert it now to the version for the Back to the Future 3 movie. Take this piece here. It's like all the pieces from the 50s that he had to put together to try to give it power. And then you take these wheels off. Looks like my Technic piece is going to come out. And I've seen other reviews and uh, people kind of complain about these wheels and you know I have to agree with them. I think Lego could have done a little bit more to give it that white wall effect just to make it look a little bit better but eh, it is what it is. But I, you can't complain. Uh, I never would have thought that Lego probably would do Back to the Future and it really is nice the way they did it so you get basically all three sets in one right here getting the whole thing to fall apart on me as I'm doing this so there it is basically for uh, Back to the Future 3 you switch out these wheels for the red wheels and in the movie it had like white wall tires and a big uh, chrome center uh, wheel, wheel cap it looked a lot nicer but eh, it, it is what it is and you kinda see why they uh, did these tile pieces instead of one nice slope here so you could get that on there Obviously, I just put on the tires on one side just to show you what it looks like. But I probably won't keep it in this mode because I don't like these red wheels. I'll probably keep it in the the flying mode with the, this piece on it and these clear pieces underneath it and kind of display it like that. And you've probably seen all the printed bricks. I'll show you. You saw the one inside the, and then you get the California plate there. And you also get this uh, piece right here. Let me see if I can get the zoom in. This is the piece you put on it for basically Back to the Future 2. 
because he's in the future. That's what they thought license plates would look like, barcodes. Uh, obviously, that didn't really came, come to reality, but uh, they were kind of guessing on what the future would be like. But, uh, well, as you probably uh, have seen, this is a, a really a set that I was looking forward to because I uh, obviously grew up with the movie and uh, really liked it, and uh, I'm happy to have it, you know. If you're a Back to the Future uh, fan, obviously you're going to get this no matter what I say about it. And just in case you didn't know, these all these pieces right here, these are basically all your little leftover pieces they give you. They give you quite a bit. Now, as you might have saw in the uh, title to this uh, review I put on there that I was going to review this set. And I was also going to do a giveaway. And, uh, you know, I want to thank all my subscribers. I've almost got 100. And I was really waiting until I got 100 to uh, do a giveaway, but... You know, I really uh, want to get this set out to somebody, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a giveaway now. And you probably saw in my last haul some of the stuff I got, and uh, one of the extra things I got that uh, I want to give away is this Friends Poly Bag. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you guys. I'm going to give away the Back to the Future set. I got one sealed. Obviously, I got two of these from the shop at home, so I want to go ahead and give one of them away to you guys uh, to really uh, let you know how much I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and uh, give me your feedback now the way I'm gonna do this uh, I'm gonna show basically three pictures what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, Lego Back to the Future DeLorean and I'm gonna make three different shots one from each of the movies and I'm gonna put them play them here after this you know what? What I want you to do is put in the comments uh, what picture you think is from what movie. So basically, you know, if you think the first picture I show is from Back to the Future Two, uh, put you know, first picture Back to the Future Two, or uh, you know, B T T F Two, uh, whatever. And then for the third, second picture, if you think it's Back to the Future One, put that, and, and for the third picture whatever you think it is put it in there so if you get all three of those right uh, you're in another rule is you got to be subbed to my uh, channel so obviously if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you know I'll put a link here in the second so you can uh, hit that sub to the channel and you can just sub to the channel just for this if you want and if you don't like what you see on my channel you can just unsub uh, once this is over but hopefully you'll like what you see so uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put three different pictures. I'm going to recreate three different scenes from the movies as best as I can. Now, this isn't going to be really hard. You should be able to get this if you've seen the movies. Even if you haven't seen the movies, you probably will get it. But uh, So basically put in the comments uh, which of these pictures uh, that I make are from which movie. And uh, we're going to end this contest whenever uh, this video hits 55 likes just like they went back in time to 1955 so uh, be sure to hit that like button and uh, as soon as this video hits 55 likes uh, the contest is over and I'll be I'll send you a personal message if you won obviously I'm going to take all the comments that are right in the comment section and then I'll put it on random.org and I'll show you I'll make a video of that and I'll pick one winner and then I'll contact you and uh, I'll get this out in the mail to you. So uh, hopefully you like this video. Obviously I didn't go that crazy into detail with the review, but uh, uh, hopefully you enjoy uh, what little bit of review I did, and uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy the video I made at the beginning, and I got a little video here at the end too. So obviously again I want to say thanks to all my subs, subscribers, and uh, thanks for uh, watching and thanks for your feedback. All right, see you in the next video. All right, don't forget to hit the like button, and when this video hits 55 likes, the contest is over. Uh, of course, I want to thank everybody again for subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, here's an invitation right now to subscribe. Uh, what are you waiting for, you chicken?